Have you ever wanted anything in life so bad? I mean, really, really wanted it. Now, for some, they might say, well, certain things that we aspire to could be a pipe dream. It would be something very meaningful or just meaningful to us. But nonetheless, it's still something that you want. And you want really bad. So why don't you have it? If it's attainable, then why don't you have it? Is it within your reach? If it is, so why don't you have it? You know, I'm saying this and I speak to myself too, preaching to the choir to myself, in retrospect. Uh, there are people who say that they want to pursue a career, let's say for example, in music. And all it is is just a fleeting thought, but they say they really want that. They have the talent, or so they believe. The question is, have they applied that talent? Not just simply in the bathroom, the shower, or around family members and people close to you. Have you applied it? Have you put yourself out on the market? Have you put yourself out on social media so people can see you, see what you have to offer? Do you really, really want it? Let's say, you want to start your business or a business you've always wanted to do that so why are you just talking about it and not doing anything about it you see those people are few and far between it's a it's thousands and hundreds of thousands of people and even millions of people who are always talking about what they want to do but how do we make that real first of all you have to start heading towards that direction. And simple words are not going to do it. But we can speak things into existence. Did you not know that? Remember in, in the scripture, in the book of Genesis, when it says, And God said, let there be. And God said, let there be. Have you ever thought about that? When he said, let there be, he believed in what he was creating. And it came to pass. It came into existence. But we being lesser than the creator, to some degree, we're flesh and blood. Our thoughts. Your mind is the greatest asset that you have. If you can think it and believe it, you can do it. But you have to put some feet on it. So have you ever thought that maybe what I'm doing right now is yielding me a certain result and I'm not satisfied with it? Ever think about changing what you're doing? Because if you change what you're doing, you change the results too, right? Doesn't it make sense? It's a law of nature. It's a natural law. It's called cause and effect. And I said that in the previous video, if you plant corn, are you going to grow a tomato? No, you're going to grow what you planted. If you plant green beans, you're not going to grow beets. You're going to grow what you planted. So the amount of work and or labor that you put into your thing is going to yield you what you put in. So if you put little in, ladies and gentlemen, are you surprised that you got a little? Why would you want more than what you put in? If you put a lot in, you're going to get a lot back. But you have to put a lot in. If you're mediocre with it, you're modest with it, you just put a little more than a little in, you're going to get that result. So what I'm saying to you today, you just have to change. Change what you've been doing. Because what you've been doing is the reason you've gotten what you've gotten. So if you want to lose weight, for example, you're overweight, you're doing the same thing, your diet's the same, why in the world would you think that you're going to lose the weight that you want to lose? Unless you change 
what you're doing because when you change what you're doing you're going to change the results as well just something for you to think about this is a brother teacher so long